I'm Anil Kumar. Now let us explore the properties of roots of quadratic equations and solve some questions. The question here is, find the equation whose roots are each 6 more than the roots of x squared plus 8x minus 1 equals to 0. Now it is not necessary to find the roots of this equation and then get the answer. We'll do the other way, right? You know, sum of roots is how much? Sum of root is minus b over c. In this case, sum of roots will be equals to eight with the negative sign is just minus eight and the product of root is minus one. Correct? As you remember, we could always write a quadratic equation as x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. Equals to 0, right? So compare, you get sum and product, correct? Now, let us assume that the roots are x1 and x2 for us, correct? That means what we know from here is that x1 plus x2, the sum of roots, is minus 8 and x1 times x2 is equal to minus 1. Now the question is, find the equation whose roots are each 6 more than the roots of this equation. So if x1 and x2 are the roots of given equation, then the equation which we need to find its roots are 6 more. That means x1 plus 6. x1 plus 6 is the first root. And x2 plus 6 is the other root. Correct? Now what we can do is, we can find their sum and product, utilize this formula and get the equation. So that is what we are going to do. Now what is sum of these two roots? So if I want to add these two. So let me do it, let's do it here itself. So sum of roots will be x1 plus 6 plus x2 plus 6, right? And this is equals to x1 plus x2 plus 12. Now x1 plus x2 is minus 8. So we have minus 8 plus 12 and that gives you how much? That gives you 4, right? So we get 4 here. So we found that the sum of roots is 4. So we can write down here, sum of roots equals to 4. Let us now find product of roots. Product will be x1 plus 6 times x2 plus 6. Now if you multiply that, you get x1, x2, and then you get plus 6 times x1, plus 6 times x2 plus 36. Do you see? Plus 36. So let me write plus 36 here. I'm running out of space. Okay. So x1 and x2 is how much? The product x1 and x2 is minus 1. So I'll replace x1 x2 by minus 1. 6 times we can take common x1 and x2 which is sum, right? So what we get here is plus 6 times sum of x1 and x2, which is minus 8, plus 36, 6 times 6. Correct? So how much is that? So that is minus 1. 6 times 8 is minus 48, with a negative sign here, plus 36, right? And that is equals to 36 or minus 49, right? So it is... 36 minus 49, minus 49 plus 36, and that gives us 9 take away 6 is 3, 4 take away this is 13 with a negative sign. So the product is minus 13, and therefore we can now write down our answer. The quadratic equation which we are looking for, the quadratic equation is x squared minus sum, sum is 4, so it is minus 4x plus 
product which is minus 30 equals to 0 right so the answer is x square minus 4x minus 13 equals to 0 so that is how you can find the equation right so let's go through this once again let us say x1 and x2 are the roots then the sum is minus 8 the product is minus 1 now the roots of the equation to be found is 6 more so let that be x1 plus 6 and x2 plus 6 so these are the new roots right so that is the new equation so this is equation number 2 for that we'll find the sum correct and the product when you find the sum you get 4 when you find the product you get minus 13 substitute in the formula x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots equals to 0 and get your answer I hope I hope that helps you can subscribe to my videos I am Anil Kumar and learn a lot about mathematics thank you and all the best